Keith was raised in a family of seven. It was easy for him to sort of be in the background and not always be in the forefront. Keith definitely has a strong work ethic. It reflects in all of his life. Luckily, I think our kids have all picked up on that. And you can sort of see that he relaxes and becomes a bit more, a bit funny, a bit comical. Um, not to say that he wasn't a pretty serious parent. He's not one to be in the limelight. Likes to just do the right thing rather than say the right thing. To take pride in doing things the right way. Keith's involvement with wind sport came from basically my brother Alan Markin, who was very passionate about helping them out. Keith's donation was used specifically for the capital campaign that Winsport ran to help fund the building of this. It was a donation to the, to the bricks and mortar that allowed us to raise our share of the, uh, of the capital that was needed to build this world-class facility. Without these leaders, and, and Keith McPhail is at the top of that list, we would not be where we're at today. We are so blessed in, in our city and our province to have uh, you know, have people like Keith McPhail that, uh, that step up and do their part to, to, to make us the great city we are and the great province that we are. Keith's mother suffered from colon cancer. Throughout her illness, we discovered that had she maybe had a colonoscopy 10, 15 years prior, it would have been a simple procedure. So when John Frisani approached Keith about supporting the colon cancer, it made a lot of sense to him. The Frisani and McPhail Colon Cancer Screening Centre was founded in 2008, and it is the only type of clinic of its kind in the country focused on colon cancer screening and surveillance. And now so many people are given the opportunity to, to have a simple procedure when they have a precancerous polyp. Keith's uh, donation is aligned with his uh, overall philosophy of giving back to the community. He has made a, an extraordinary commitment to uh, wellness, to health, and improving the lives of uh, Albertans. This facility is truly a life-saving facility, and Keith McPhail has been instrumental in its creation. SAIT really gave him a sense of who he was, the confidence um, to find his own passion and to take that passion forward. The reason he did put his name behind SAIT was because of the momentum that it would create and hopefully he would become in a leadership position, a mentoring position for other people to step up to the plate. The donation that Keith made to make this a reality uh, has filled out the program to make it a world-class petroleum engineering school. The PT program definitely prepared me for industry. We have a coil tubing simulator here. We have a, a drilling simulator just next door. Every day I utilize the skills and the, the concepts and the knowledge that I learned at SAIT. If it wasn't for SAIT, I definitely wouldn't have been prepared for the position that I was given. I think Keith would like to be just known as a good guy someone who's really honest and ethical with really high standards and I think maybe he just wants to prove that maybe the good guy isn't always last. <laughs>